All right, everybody, we just got the latest there out of Crosby, Texas. It's a story that we are going to continue to keep a very close eye on all day right here on News Now, which is part of Fox10Phoenix.com. Good afternoon, regardless of where you are watching us from. My name is Pilar Arias, and we are happy that you are here spending part of your day and your week with us. So, again, thanks so much for being here. We're going to get going with those health-related top stories that I said I had for you. We are learning now that actually edibles might be more dangerous than actually smoking marijuana. Let's get the details right now on News Now. More and more states are now adopting a policy to legalize marijuana. Now, this is all, in my opinion, a good thing. There is a role for both THC, which can lead to relaxation, and CBD, or cannabidiol, which can help with chronic pain. But it's a new frontier. New data from several of the states that have legalized marijuana have found an uptick in emergency room visits. And interestingly, people who consumed edible marijuana had a higher risk of serious complications. Now, these included things like anxiety, paranoia, and even heart problems. Now, we do know that marijuana can increase your risk of having a rapid heart rate, palpitations, vasodilation, meaning opening up of arteries, and also a risk of heart attack. So if you're out there and you have a history of heart disease, you might want to reconsider using marijuana. As my grandfather used to say, everything in moderation. I'm Dr. Mike Sirigliano with the Fox News. All right, Dr. Mike sticking around right here on News Now. That's because he has one more health-related story for us, the impacts that working nights could have on pregnant women. If you're a woman who's pregnant and you work the night shift, you need to listen to this. A new study of 22,000 women found that if you work two or more night shifts, you have a 32% increased risk of having a miscarriage. Now, we don't really know why this is, but the researchers think it may have to do with effects on melatonin and disruptions of the circadian rhythm. Now, I teach medical students at the University of Pennsylvania, where I am. It's not nice to mess with Mother Nature. Now, if you have a job that involves working the night shift, you have to do what you have to do. I wouldn't panic, but if there's any way to get off that shift, at least while you're pregnant, I would do it. The data shows there is some correlation regarding this. I'm Dr. Mike Sirigliano with the Fox News. Medical. All right, two great Fox medical team stories there that we just showed right on News Now. Now we're going to head to Connecticut where we're learning that a bus driver was attacked by someone with a cane, but he still ended up losing his job. Let's find out why. CT Transit has had camera systems on their buses for years. These cameras captured a violent incident in early March and it led to a passenger getting arrested and the bus driver getting fired. On March 4th, Stefan Knox was driving his CT transit route as he had done for the last 19 years. But his day would take a turn when he was suddenly struck in the head with a cane as he sat in the driver's seat. The passenger who struck him is William Horn of New Haven. And Horn would get some immediate justice administered on him by Knox. Knox then leaves Horn alone on the bus. Following the initial attack, it appears as though Horn tries to drive the bus. But when he's unable to do so, he exits the bus and makes his way down the street in Hamden. However, his ride is not over. The driver approached him again with a jumping kick, and it continues to attack Horn in the street. Knox had had a fairly clean record as a driver for the past 19 years. But it's this second confrontation in the street that cost Knox his job. He was fired last week, and DOT released the following statement. The dangerous assault on the bus operator was absolutely unacceptable. The driver understandably and rightfully defended and protected himself upon being attacked. Unfortunately, after the incident had been de-escalated and the bus operator had left the area while police were en route, the operator chose to return and physically re-engage his assailant without provocation. Physically engaging the assailant the second time was inappropriate and dangerous. All right, got the latest details there out of Connecticut. Well, if you didn't know, Fox has been having some great shows lately. We had The Masked Singer, right? Now we have Mental Samurai testing people's intelligence, endurance, and speed pretty much all at the same time. Whoa!
For most of us, a tough mental challenge requires peace, quiet, focus. No such luck for the contestants on Fox's new game show, Mental Samurai. How you feel about being whipped around, roller coasters? Are you good, bad? What? We have our contestants in our four and a half million dollar arm called Ava that is swinging them around, subjecting them to extreme physical pressures while they're facing the clock, while they're having to prove their knowledge. Lock it in. Answering questions from the Towers of Samurai while being flung around the gaming area is designed to disorient the contestants to see if they can still keep their head in the game. Wow, I love it. It combines the, the, the two elements I love most about watching shows like this. One is I like watching someone do something physical and wondering if they're going to pull it off. Can they make the leap between the this or that? So I love them working through the centrifugal force of the capsule. But then I also love playing along at home. Host producer Rob Lowe shares which categories would be easy and difficult for him. I would crush it at history and knowledge. I would be lucky to make it through any of the puzzles. And um, I would be great at memory and pretty bad at sequencing. Good luck. Watch as another group of competitors put their knowledge to the test on Mental Samurai tonight on Fox. In Hollywood, Michelle Polino, Fox News. You better believe if any news breaks across the country, we will have you covered right here on News Now, which is a part of Fox10Phoenix.com. Currently, we're live right here in Phoenix, Arizona, where me, Mike Page, and the rest of the Fox 10 Phoenix crew are daily. Left-hand side of your screen, we've got the South Mountain Tower Cam aimed right at downtown Phoenix. You can see Chase Field's roof is just slightly open. Yesterday, it was all the way open. On the right-hand side of your screen, we got an ADOT camera that stands for the Arizona Department of Transportation. It looks like today it's off the Loop 101 at 64th Street, and it's shaking a little bit so a little wind out there but plenty of sunshine and warm temperatures it is spring in the valley and look you can see all those plants and flowers have certainly sprung lots of green out there due to all the rain and all the snow and the high country and all the water runoff making its way down here into the valley you're watching news now which is a part of fox10phoenix.com please like share and subscribe